Hi guys, welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions. I'm riding an absolute high at the moment. Obviously, if you watched my video yesterday, I got a Dormammu 5 star from Crystal. Watch that video, it's highly enjoyable. But the second high is the fact that Marvel Contest of Champions Strokos, or Tricks, aka Trocalicious, and Marvel Contest of Champions mods have been doing some fantastic work to data mine and get this for us. X Enforcers, as you know, we talked about this is something that is coming shortly to the game. This is probably March's event. And um, all I can say is that I am absolutely ecstatic and so hopeful for this to be as good as possible because this is all about X Force. Now, if you're not familiar with X Force, we'll cover a few bits about what um, X Force do and how they work in regards to the realms of what's different from say X-Men or say the Brotherhood of Mutants or mutants in general and what they do in the comic books and also what they'll be doing in the game for us. And before I go anywhere, uh, please have a look at the description for Marvel Contest of Champions mods YouTube channel and also Marvel Contest of Champions Trocos' uh, Facebook or YouTube channel in the description below. So give them some support and love. So as you know from previous videos, we're getting Angel, Archangel, uh, we're getting Psylocke uh, there was a little bit of thing about getting Iceman, but uh, that doesn't seem to be apparent at the moment. I'm not sure what the next stage is with that. It, I don't really kind of endorse having too many mutants put in at one time. But there's certain things that have been brought up in uh, in this, this picture, which do mean that are we going to get an X-Force skin of Wolverine and what abilities will he have? Everything is really speculation until the point that we actually get it in the game. But to give you an idea about X-Force, and this right really kind of sums up perfectly, some evil won't stop. Some evil no prisons can hold. No force can contain. No plea can soften. Sometimes to truly save the lives, the only option is to take them. The burden of that truth falls on a covert team of mutants assigned to those jobs to dirty, too dangerous for the X-Men. The team is, well, it's Uncanny X-Force, but it would be X-Force. So the way they operate is they will take lives. They will kill. One thing that Charles Xavier said with regards to X-Men was that his X-Men should not take another life because then that puts them into the realms of what the Brotherhood of Mutants were all about. This kind of cross between evil and also the cross between good. And obviously to be good, and be a face character you don't take a life you don't kill only only if it's justified but in the case of uncanny x-force or x-force they operate on the realms of if they're evil and bad we take them down now i know the way the kabam operate and they don't do stories similar to uh, the comic books it's kind of changed in a certain certain way so all the kind of like villains and premises there with certain characters but it doesn't take the same scheme so it would be nice to have say apocalypse and this kind of uh the 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 seed the being plant the, the seed sorry theoretical seed that then changed angel into archangel and that real decent story if you're not familiar with what i'm talking about then if you go on to my video about archangel and psylocke then i've explained a little bit about how he came to have his kind of change in the the wings that he had and also his powers so it would have been nice to see maybe apocalypse introduced to first but um again it's same with domamu you've got to kind of put a big emphasis on how powerful the character is going to be as per the point of Im implementation and it is really hard to get that kind of fine uh, boundary and kind of uh, weight in the previous event which was the one that Domami was in the dawn of darkness he there's actually a bit in the story where um this is kabam's story they put in a pointer that he now had he was now of matter because before he wasn't of matter he was still this kind of all godly type being that was kind of immune immune to everything wasn't able to be attacked um by physical attack um, so therefore that's how he becomes more not mortal but more of matter so therefore he can get damaged easily i hope you picked up on that one because that was a really kind of nice little touch by kabam in the previous event and obviously please come by to my live streams when i do the the events because i will from now on be covering the story as we go so we learn a bit about what 
kabam story that they've done for this event is. So the most prominent characters of Uncanny X-Force are Wolverine to start off with and obviously hopefully we, we are rocking that X-Force skin. It would be a little bit disappointing to see it because not to see it because it would it would largely be taking on the same schemes as X Force, so you'd be seeing Deadpool X Force. Uh, Psylocke's going to look a bit similar to what she is there. Obviously, Archangel is going to fit perfectly with regards to that. Please, hopefully, it is, and maybe we see some like changing abilities and, and and maybe like some some something different. I don't know, incorporating different things of say you know maybe he's getting older. There's kind of the the kind of chronological uh, point of gap between where we get Wolverine. An old man Logan, you know, he's getting older, he's getting more battle hardened. Um, is he at the point that he's more, he's, you know, he's he's more deadly? You know, that would be really cool to kind of change that, maybe kind of improve things. And it's really good as well because it does come into the same month as the release of uh, the film Logan. So hopefully, Psylocke we've covered, and it's really nice to, to see her come in. Obviously, this will be released very shortly. Phantom X, this is the one that's interesting because. This is the second kind of love interest that Psylocke has. It's like first and foremost is there's ones with Angel and then it's then it's Phantom X. So she's not being rude to her. She doesn't get about. But obviously there's not many men to choose from. What does she want to choose? Wolverine. Wolverine's got his own love problems with Jean Grey. Uh, Deadpool. Well, don't get started on Deadpool. He's just a womanizer, to be honest. Uh, and Nightcrawler. Yeah, again, Nightcrawler's got his own his own uh, <laughs> his own you know issues. Um, but that's kind of the the main scheme of things. These are the and we've got Deathlock there, Sabretooth. But it's only on the light appearances, so the main appearances. So let's go like twenty to thirty five. Wolverine, Psylocke, Phantom X, Deadpool, EVA, uh, Nightcrawler, and Angel. So. Phantom X would be the character potentially next that would, in the scheme of things, go in. Unless, again, you know, Kabam do make their own decisions about who they're putting in and why. Phantom X is one of the most recent creations of the Weapon Plus program. I'm guessing this is similar to the Weapon X program, but instead of it being an X, it's a plus. Phantom X was born and artificially evolved in the world, an artificial world made for creating super soldiers using Sentinel technology. That's fascinating. He was designed as Weapon 8, has gone by the alias of Jean Philippe or Jean or Jean Philippe Charles, and was designed, sorry, de designated the name Charlie Cluster 7 in the world. Right, so from the outpost, of, I didn't really know much about Phantom X. It's one character I've not really kind of looked into much. But I like that aspect. Now, this is something that I really want in the game moving forward. Something based with Sentinels. I'm a big fan of uh, X-Men, and Sentinels obviously are a massive part of the X-Men uh, franchise from a film perspective. They're not in there, though, but that's a bit of a shame. They do make subtle appearances. Obviously, one film they are in big a big appearance. <clears throat> but when it comes to the fact of, like, the... Even with, like, the comic books, they're in there in kind of a big... They have a big, big role. And it is one big thing about Marvel that I love is is X Men. Obviously, you've got loads of different things going going on with different Marvel characters, but uh, but X Men seems to be very prominent. So that would be my, nice to bring that in. Maybe Sentinels as end bosses. I really like the idea of playing with a with kind of a big end boss battley thing with stuff like using base because obviously we're still on coming soon with base. Um, even if it's something called something like battle base, and you're kind of building up to then a big 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 kind of like target that you're trying to kind of take down i don't know it would be nice but it probably won't happen and if it would it probably won't happen for a couple of years what are my hopes for this x enforcers event well it's largely hoping that it takes a scheme of maybe that it's something that's going to go through the year so it's going to start off with something similar to this so this is based on them fighting Apocalypse, but it doesn't necessarily need to be that. It could be something on the same lines that, uh, look, in the wake of the Second Coming, the X-Men have found out about Wolverine's secret X-Force. So obviously he keeps a secret from his teammates at X-Men, and he's confronted by Cyclops. Wolverine agrees to disband the team for ethical reasons. Obviously it conflicts with what Charles Xavier wanted uh, from them with regards to dealing with certain situations. They don't want him to, he doesn't want them to kill anybody. 
especially mutants. And into Cyclops, Wolverine is actually ready to start a brand new X-Force. Obviously, this is where we start to get uncanny X-Force. Together, they'll get rid of threats against mutant kind permanently. Their tar the first target is Apocalypse. The series lasts until issue 35 was then continued under Uncanny X-Force Volume 2. So from a start point, it was about the creation for means of helping out. Obviously, it's all about the fact that Apocalypse has come back, sort of, and uh, that's where it's been formed. So what I'd hope for in the game is something where we create uh, an enemy or maybe a secret enemy. That's the reasons that they're, that they're kind of forming to fight. There's going to be battles between maybe the X-Men and... Uh, the motivation between between them and X-Force. So ethical reasons from X-Men is that they should be going down this route and uh, X-Force then come into a big kind of like fight. So it's like the, like the X-Men versus Uncanny X-Force based on the ethical means that I would absolutely love. So many things and stories happen in Uncanny X-Force. Uh, even sees them kind of crossing worlds. It sees them being blackmailed by Magneto to kill one of the Nazi people that were behind certain things in the Prisoner of War camp that he was he was in. There's so many things that go on. So the story can t stories can take so much of a turn, and obviously Gaban will put their own spin on it. So I'm I'm really excited about what can be seen for this uh, upcoming Uncanny or X Enforcers. It should be called Uncanny X Enforcers or something like that, but um. Yeah, it's, it's, it's cool. If you're doing standard X-Force, then you would have seen so many different uh, characters with that as well. Uh, something around Cable. It's kind of what they wouldn't kind of go for something with Cable to begin with, rather than going Uncanny X-Force, which is kind of like, you know, in a different direction. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for this. I'm really excited to see this. Thanks again to Marvel Contest Champions Trocos and MCOC Mods uh, for bringing this to our attention. So x enforcers guys what's your thoughts let me know in the comments below if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful then please hit that like button if you want to subscribe for more marvel contest of champions as well as marvel related and comic book content then please hit that subscribe button below uh, share it with people that may be a bit unsure about x enforcers and x force in general and uh yeah thumbs up thanks for the watching the video and as always i should catch you on the flip side bye bye, bye.